Katie and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be part two of the creating my dream yarn room video series. So if you haven't already seen part one, I definitely recommend checking out part one before you watch part two and part three and part four. So part two today is going to be starting to paint the room and building furniture. So this video is probably going to be the longest out of all of them if I had to guess because I spent almost a full week between painting and building furniture. So I have a lot of footage to share with you in today's video and I hope you're excited to see the paint colors and the furniture I picked out and all of those things. So definitely stay tuned for the rest of this video to see all of that and I will have part one linked in the description box below for you guys if you haven't already seen that. Now just so you guys know, for this series at the end for part four, I will have all of the links for everything that is in the yarn room in the description of that video. So if you see anything in part one through three of this series and you think, oh, that's really cool. I wonder where she got that. I will have links for everything in that video. So make sure you stay tuned for that video if you are interested in anything that I have in the yarn room. But with that, we're just going to get into all of what I have to share with you for part two. My painting clothes are on because today is painting day for the yarn room. Here's coat number one on this wall, which you can still see the blue coming through. So we may have to do like two more coats. Hopefully just one will cover it, but it may need to be two, unfortunately. And this red like bench 
It is going to be pink as well. We're just not bothering to paint it yet because as you have probably seen, we've been standing on it to get some of the top and whatnot. So we don't want to, you know, be stepping in it. Okay, you guys, this is three coats and a fourth coat in some spots <laughs> later, and um, still some areas like up there need more paint, but I am out of the pink paint. So tomorrow, my dad's gonna stop by Home Depot to get some more for me, and uh, yeah, this will be finished up hopefully tomorrow, if not the next day for sure. Tomorrow we're going to Ikea to look at some shelving, so that's why I don't know if I will actually end up even painting at all tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, and then my dad covered this wall, because this wall is just going to be cream. It was the same dark blue and red combination that was on the other wall. Um, this wall is just going to be a cream color. So, yeah, this is... Um, but this is looking like he covered it in keels, is what it's called, um, for like a primer, because of course covering it with just the uh, cream would take probably like five coats since the pink took basically four. <laughs> so anyways, um, that is the progress for right now. It's almost quitting time. I mean, my dad just went downstairs to, um, go get a shower and everything, so it's basically just going to be me up here for a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and tape off here um, so that we won't get any of the cream color paint that we're doing to cover the yellow on the ceiling. Oh, also, I never showed you guys. So, I never showed you guys this, but um, I came up with this idea earlier today that I think I'm going to do this 
area that's a little bit taller. Um, the pink color as well. And then the walls that are short like that will be the cream color as well as the big wall here is gonna be the cream color. I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna do this bench over here, pink or cream. We'll see. It might depend on how much pink I actually end up having left. Um, but yeah, I'm back and forth between the pink and the cream as the bench part. I'm leaning towards pink, but like I said, it might end up just coming down to how much paint I have left. But yeah, I'm gonna do this part, pink at least. This like weird shaped thing. And the plan is to mount my TV here. And my dad's gonna fix this up because I don't know what this was from from the previous owners. But um, my dad's gonna mount my TV here and it'll be on a swivel so that no matter where I am in this room, I can watch TV, which will be nice. And of course the plug is right there. So it also, you know, would be nice <laughs> to have the TV right next to the plug, of course. Okay guys, so I tried taping wall here and honestly I'm just not good at doing the tape straight enough, but I do at least think of myself I have a pretty steady hand to do the trim work with just the paintbrush. So that's my plan and that's honestly what I've been doing throughout the whole house anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some paint for rolling it on. I got the wall done with the ruler at least, and I will do the edges probably tomorrow. We were gonna go to Ikea, but I decided that I'm not sure if I even wanna go. I might just look online and see if I can find some sort of shelving because honestly, I think Amazon's gonna be cheaper than Ikea. And it pretty much comes the same way where you have to put it together anyway. Um, but anyways, I'll decide on that later. But yeah, here's what the wall is looking like again other than the trim i need to do um and then i just used up what was left on my roller and in the pan on this wall since this wall is going to be tan as well so tomorrow i will come and do more but for now i'm going to pack up because it's a little bit past five o'clock i think so i'm going to get a shower and i just need to edit for tomorrow's video because today's a sunday and um yeah, I'm gonna call it a night on this at least. Okay, so here's what the wall is looking like the next day. Once my dad gets home with the pink paint later today, I will be, of course, doing the spots that need to be redone and maybe a whole nother coat just in general because it's kind of still got some blue showing through, unfortunately. Um, but anyways, this is what it looks like today and then like i showed you guys i have this wall pretty much done also don't know what bird is doing <laughs> so yeah this wall's done other than the trim work and i'm about to start on this wall
Okay, so this wall is also done. Again, other than the trim, which I'm gonna do a little bit later. And I'm gonna start over here now. And I'm gonna leave this spot because that's gonna be more pink. And then I'll come over here and do the cream color again. And then once those walls are done, I'm gonna do the trim on all of the cream areas that need trim. Besides the pink that I can't do until I get more pink, um, so I'm going to do the edge work now. I'm gonna give you guys a 360 view of the room because I've done a lot of painting that I haven't recorded because my camera battery was running low so I went ahead and put it on charge for a little while. Here's what the room is looking like. I still need to do the pink parts, but I did trim all of the cream parts. They probably need a second coat on the trim and probably just a second coat in general, but yeah. 
Here's what this looks like. Sorry, my camera is not doing the best job of focusing. It's kind of going in and out. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and continue working on something. I don't know what I'm doing next, but I'm gonna work on something. <laughs> okay, we're starting with coat number two on the small balls. So I did a lot of touch-ups, which is kind of boring, so I didn't film it. But I'm about to start on more pink paint, which is going to be touching up the top of this pink wall, and then also doing the other pink areas. Okay, I'm about to start on the pink up there that needs to be redone because, as you can see, there is blue showing through. Okay, so I just did a second coat on that little bench piece that's down there, and like a fourth or fifth coat on the full wall. It probably didn't really need it, but I just wanted to make sure, so I went ahead and did that, and I think once it dries, there should be almost zero blue showing through. Now at the top, there is a little bit of blue, but that is actually pieces that I'm going to touch up with white because that's actually spots that they got blue on the ceiling that's not on the wall so anyways if you can't tell i'm really out of breath um but i'm gonna go ahead while i have the pink out and start on this wall as well as this bench over here i'm gonna try to get both of those done it is already like 10 o'clock at night so i'm gonna try to do those fairly quickly and then i'm gonna head to bed and tomorrow is when my mom and i are going shopping for some stuff for this room so I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually get much done in this room tomorrow, but I do hope to at least get a little bit done, like probably the baseboards or something tomorrow. And then after that, the room should be pretty much done other than maybe a handful of touch-ups.
Okay, so here's what this section of the wall is looking like with the pink now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the bench that is over here in pink. Okay, there's that bench part painted pink and of course I had to touch some of the cream because why wouldn't I? <laughs> Didn't do it on purpose, but you know, of course it happened. So tomorrow once it's dry, I will touch up the cream parts where it's supposed to be cream and a little bit of pink got on. Um, and then of course touch up anything else that needs to be touched up. But yeah, right now it's still just drying. And this pink that I did a little bit ago has dried. And as you can see, there's some spots that need to be gone over again. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And then after that, I think I'm going to bed because it's gotta be like 11 by now. I don't know what time it is. Let me check. Yeah, it's 11.05. So um, I would like to, you know, go to bed at some point. So I'm just gonna do all of that and then Call it a night. <laughs> okay, so it is now 11.57, so I'm definitely about to go to bed, but I did a lot of touch-ups here on this wall and they're still drying as I'm sure you can see. Um, so hopefully this will look good tomorrow and yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna try to bring my camera to the stores we're going to and I'll show you if I find anything I like, but otherwise um, you may or may not see me until tomorrow when I'm back home. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, you guys, it's the morning of the next day, and here is what the walls are looking like, which don't mind that weird reflection. The window that's down there reflects the pool, so that's what that's from. Um, but yeah, here's what it's looking like now that everything is dry this morning, which I think it's looking really good. So I just came back up here to measure this wall so that if we do buy any shelves today, we don't end up buying anything that's the wrong size. And yeah, then we're gonna be out shopping today. Next up, okay, so I like this one a lot, but I'm not getting it today or anything. I'm gonna look around some more, but this is my favorite so far. Okay, you guys, so my mom and I went to Ikea today and a few other stores, but Ikea was the only place we actually got stuff from for right now. And I got four boxes that contain three different shelves that are going to be on the yarn wall over there. So I'm going to start building those probably tomorrow. Right now it's already pretty late, but I am going to try to get some painting done. So I will of course be showing you guys that.
Okay, I did the baseboards from there all the way over to here. And just that took like an hour, I think. Um, so I should probably be going to bed, but I think I'm gonna do a few more touch-ups. I know, I should go to bed. It's midnight right now. <laughs> I'm like debating with myself. Um, but while I have the white paint out, I think what I'm gonna do is some of the touch-ups in this corner for on the ceiling, the ones that I can reach at least, because I'm having a really hard time telling if this is matching or not, and if the glossiness is just from like the paint we tried to cover it with, or if it's from the current paint. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the paint over here where there's blue from the previous owners as well as cream that I got on the walls or the ceiling I guess I should say and I decided on this corner because this is like the least noticeable corner if I tried to touch up with that color over here and it didn't match you would notice it as soon as you walk up the stairs and then on that wall of course that's the filming wall so I don't want to mess anything up over there so anyways the least noticeable spot I think at least is in this corner so I'm gonna try to touch that up really quick and then I'm gonna head to bed because like I said it is past midnight now So I said I was going to sleep after that, but it's been like an hour now. It's 1.11 <laughs> and um, yeah, that paint has dried over there and I think it looks pretty good. It might need a second coat on some of the spots, especially the spots that were blue because that's hard to cover, of course. Um, but anyways, I think that's going to match well, which is good. Um, yeah, I continued on the baseboards, so I showed you that it stopped over here. I went all the way down and along this wall, and all the way back to that cream wall. So, tomorrow I'm going to start out my day with finishing the baseboards and going from that edge all the way back until I meet up again where I started on the left of the stairs there. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna start with and then, of course, do touch-ups and everything tomorrow. And hopefully, after that, get to building my shelves. Okay, it is now day four. I believe four, I don't know. It's the next day anyways. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the baseboards where I left off yesterday. Okay, I'm done all the way along this wall so far, and, and I've also done a little bit onto the part there where it is pink, okay, so now I'm just going to continue. Okay, I'm about to do the touch-ups on the top and then painting on this wall is done. I'm also watching camera in our life, which I think you guys know I love her.
It's definitely not perfect, but it's a million times better than it was. So I'm gonna move on to touch-ups on the pink wall, and then I think it's gonna be both of the shelves because I don't have any more painting, I think, after that. Finally. <laughs> painting so I wanted to give you an overview of what the room looks like but my camera is not cooperating very much um but anyways here's what it's looking like so next thing is going to be building the IKEA shelves I did leave all the paint up here as you can probably see just because in case there's like one little spot where I'm like oh I want to touch that up I didn't want to take the paint all the way downstairs and then have to bring it all the way back up. So for now, it's just going to stay in here. But I do believe the paint is done. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that because that means I can move on to other things now. Which is going to be the IKEA shelves, like I said. piece on the side to put on and then it's done and I don't know what just made me think of this but something did so I measured across the top because the top and the bottom are the same width wise um, and the plan was to set it on top of this bench but I think it's gonna hang over by about an inch and a half so now I'm like, damn it, I don't know what to do. I mean, the options are to put it on the floor in front of the bench or to let it hang over, I guess. So, I don't know. I'm gonna finish it and we'll see how it looks set up on there if it hangs off by much or not. Okay, so it's built and I'm gonna put it in place where it's supposed to go. See how much of it this is. <laughs> So this shelf is one that I got from my grandpa because he's actually moving <laughs> right now um, and downsizing so he's getting rid of a bunch of stuff and um, I took it because of course I knew I could use it in this room and it actually fits perfectly on the ledge here as you can see 
and I don't even have it all the way pushed up against the wall. Um, so he happened to mention to me that it came from Walmart and I was looking on walmart.com. I found the same exact one, took the measurements of this one. It's the same exact thing. So I <laughs> come up with another expensive plan. <laughs> oh my God, is it for the $600 I bought in Amazon stuff also for this room today wasn't enough. Um, I'm gonna do an extra like 150 <laughs> for this plan. Um, but a second one that is the same thing I think would fit really well right here. And that would be the spot that's under the AC. And then they have this same sort of thing except taller. Like it's almost the same exact size this way and everything. And I definitely made sure that it was the right size this way. And it would just go up to about like right there. Um, and I could do one and two of those on those sides. And then this same thing right here. That was basically the plan for the Ikea shelves. This one was gonna go down there like that. And then the two taller ones I still have to put together was gonna go here and here, but they're too thick on the bottom, like I said, by like an inch or so. And I could probably make it work by like mounting it to the wall and stuff, but I was looking at it, looking at it on camera and everything, and I'm like, it looks so silly with it hanging over the edge like that. And then I had the thought that, oh yeah, I have this downstairs. So I brought it upstairs and it's perfect. So I think that's what I'm gonna do is buy those shelves, even though I hate to spend even more money right now. I think I'm gonna do it. Um, and the only problem is the small shelf I have in stock at my Walmart, so it could be here like tomorrow. But the taller ones, they don't have, I think they'd have to come from like California or something it said. So it's gonna take until a week from today to get it, which is longer than I had hoped for this room to be done, um, or close to done at least. But I think I'm just gonna have to do it because first off, if I use this, I don't have to buy at least one more uh, thing. I can make that work with the rest of uh, what I'll get. And then um, for these Ikea shelves, I'm still gonna keep them. And I think what I'm gonna do, this is inspired by Katie Dids, which I'm sure you guys follow her. I think she's like the biggest crocheter on TikTok and stuff. But um, she has similar shelves like this and she has them kind of separating the room. So she has them like in a square basically all around her um, when she's on TikTok live and stuff. So I'm not gonna get like that many to make a full square, but I am gonna use what I already have. And I think I'm gonna maybe put them like along right here or something um, so that it can be more shelving because we all know I have enough yarn to fill it anyways. Um, so I think that's gonna be the plan. I think either like right here or like over here or something for um, a cool background. Or I did have the thought that I might put, plan on getting a couch probably a few months down the line at this point because I'm spending a lot of money right now on this room. Um, but if I do get a couch here, it'd be kind of cool to have the Ikea shelves behind it. And then if it's behind the couch, as long as there's enough room behind, I can still get to the yarn. So that'd be kind of cool as well. But then I've also been debating putting the couch over here in front of the paint wall. So I don't know yet at all, but if the couch goes here, also don't mind the floor, it creaks. <laughs> it's a floating floor. So it isn't even like level. <laughs> but anyways, um, if I put the couch here, then I'm probably gonna put a desk here, which I bought a desk on Amazon today. And that's also not coming in for a while. So I don't know why I'm worried about the Walmart shelves not coming in until next week. Um, 
But also if I put a desk here in the center of the room, it would also be cool to have the yarn shelves like along right here or along right here, depending on how I have the um, desk situated. But I'm thinking I would probably do them here because the plan is to mount the TV right there because that's the only flat wall in the center of the room. Um, so if my TV is mounted here, then I'd want to be able to see it from over here and from over here. So I would probably put the shelves in this direction just so they um, aren't in the way of the TV if I put them here. Basically, I'm rambling at this point. It's getting late again. Um, but I'm still gonna try to see if I can put one more shelf together. There's four boxes. These two are two and those two are one. So I need to do one and two, one and two um, for each of the two shelves that are left. And they're pretty similar to this, just taller. Um, so yeah, I need to figure out myself and what I'm doing and um, yeah, make some sort of game plan because I don't know what to even do with this whole situation. I really should have measured. I thought about it when we were on the way to Ikea and I literally told my mom I should have measured the width of this thing. But then I was like, I'm pretty sure it's long enough anyways for like any sort of shelf, so it doesn't matter. I was obviously wrong. So, anyways, I mean, I wanted more shelving in the future for this room anyways, but I didn't want to drop like a few thousand dollars on this room from the very beginning, but I guess that's what I'm doing. So anyways, I'm gonna go for real and rethink my whole life. <laughs> okay, so I just opened box number two and I'm starting on that now to finish off this first shelf, which as you can see, well, I guess that's the second shelf actually that I'm doing. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bit taller than the first one. So my plan is to have this one as well as the second one that's the same right next to it. And then this is gonna get moved over here, but for now it's just right there um, because I was actually using it to mark the center of the room so that I knew this would be in the right spot. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then I'm gonna go to bed because it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm trying to do this as quiet as I can because of course it's 11 o'clock and my parents are asleep. Um, so yeah, that's been a challenge trying to do this quietly. for you guys. Right here is where I'm planning on having this shelf and then right here is where this shelf will go and when I make the second one tomorrow it'll go right here. You can see I have the tape measure out for where it's going to end because the same exact size is so put together it will be like that and um, I still have walking space here is what I was making sure of with my measuring um, and then the plan is to mount my TV right there, which I think I already told y'all. And I bought an L-shaped desk on Amazon today. So according to my measurements at least, but things might look a little different once it gets here. 
Um, but my plan is to have the desk go like this and then out this way. That way, if I'm sitting at the desk, I can have a view of the TV right there. Um, and then if I do lives or any filming from this area, I will have a nice yarn background still. And I also was making sure with my measurements and stuff that this would still give enough room to where you can walk through without hitting your head because of course the ceiling goes down. Um, and then my plan is to use the old yarn shelves that I had at the old house in the background. Um, you can build them in like any fashion you want if you want it to be uh, like higher or lower. Um, so I had them like pretty tall at the old house, but my plan here is to use them all along this wall and make them only about two rows high. Um, so I'm gonna use that for probably more yarn, but in general, just other storage. That is um, plan for this area and also why I wanted to keep a walkway through here so you can get to this stuff. Um, and then yeah, like I told y'all, the yarn wall situation um, is not gonna come in for about a week or so. Um, the one that's the same exact size as this is supposed to come in tomorrow because our local Walmart had it, but um, the two taller ones won't come in for like another week. Um, but same with the desk and stuff from Amazon. I ordered all that today, so it's not gonna come in for a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think. If there's anything else I need to update y'all on? I don't really think so as of right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed because it is past midnight now, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow once I am making that second shelf. Should be the first thing I do tomorrow, and then whatever else I end up doing tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day. I ordered the Walmart stuff last night, and the same shelf that looks like this just came. Um, and I got it up the stairs, that's why I'm out of breath. It's surprisingly a little bit heavy for that small thing. Um, but I'm gonna put that together after I do the last Ikea shelf. So I think I'll be done putting things together for now. So after I put those two together, I'm gonna do a major cleanup of this room because yeah, it needs it. <laughs> and then um, I'll keep you guys updated with whatever else I end up doing.
so here's the second shelf made right next to the other one. Well, I guess that's the third one. I don't know. I'm getting myself confused. But anyways, here's the shelves in general. Um, and what they're looking like, this will be the setup for them as far as I am planning right now at least. We'll see how the desk and everything looks once it gets in here. But I do have like a week or so to wait for that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that part is done. So now I'm gonna move on to the second shelf over here. From where like the filming setup is going to be probably about right here if not maybe a little closer um yeah that is what that looks like except you guys aren't centered there we go that's more centered um so yeah just make sure two taller ones on each side cool okay now i'm gonna do a big cleanup of this room because it is a hot mess with all the packaging that came with this stuff. Okay, so this room has now been cleared out other than the stuff that's going to be staying in here. So I'm about to sweep everything up and then I'm going to mop this room. And that's going to be it for me for today at least because it's already 6 o'clock and I need to edit tonight. Cause it's a Thursday, so I have a video coming out tomorrow. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. And then, um, I don't know if I'm doing anything in this room tomorrow or not, but I will, of course, keep you guys updated and film as I'm doing more things in here.
Okay, so I'm just standing on the first step of the stairs to show you guys that the room is completely mopped and I think it looks really good. Of course, this place to dry, so I'm gonna let it dry overnight. Even though it doesn't need that long, I'm sure, but I've got editing to do, like I mentioned. So yeah, I'm just gonna let it dry and I'll be back to you guys next time I'm doing stuff for this room. Okay, so it's now the next day and I am gonna start bringing some stuff up into this room that's just been in our spare room, waiting for the stairs and everything to get done up here. Um, so first is gonna be my grand new semi desk, which I'm gonna put right here and kind of stage it, I guess. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to have that up here. And um, it doesn't really fit with like the white and pink thing that I have going on, but it's okay. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm not sure how I made it, so we'll see if I can manage to get it up here on my own or not. <laughs> So here's the sewing desk. My parents had to help me bring it up. And so for the three of us, it was heavy. But I need to dust it a little bit. But here it is. And I really like it being in this corner. So yeah, there's that. And then it's really cool too because if you open the drawers, all my granny's sewing stuff is still in here. So. Anyways, this is just gonna be a little thing in the corner of this room. And yeah, I'm gonna just continue bringing stuff up. Okay, so everything is up here, and oh my goodness, there is so much, and almost all of this is yarn. <sighs> so this is gonna be a lot to go through and organize, but I'm about to get started. Also, little Shadow is joining me. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> he loves being up high, so of course he is on the third floor with me. <laughs> but. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with something. I don't know what. Actually, I think I'm gonna um, build the cube shelves that I had at the old house as the foaming background. I'm gonna build those along this short wall about two rows high. Um, and that's what I'm gonna start with because that'll probably be mostly yarn as well. put together from what was in the first box and when I get back home I'm gonna open up the second box that has panels in it. I had it separated into two boxes because 
it was far too heavy just having all of it in one box. But anyways, this is about half of what I have and then the other half will continue down along the line. But I'm about to go to Walmart and I'm gonna take you guys with me because of course I'm looking for things for this room. I'm gonna find a trash can and a few other things to put in this room. Okay, well I brought my camera and I didn't end up getting anything interesting and didn't film anything because it was very busy inside the store. But I will give you guys a haul once I am back home, which it is all stuff for the yarn room other than some pumpkin bread that I bought because I don't know what it is about Walmart's pumpkin bread, but I love it. And they only have it around fall time at least is the only time I can ever find it. So I had to get it. <laughs> okay guys, so here's a little Walmart haul um, section of this video. So I um, did not find very much. I looked around at all kinds of different stuff and didn't find much at all. Like I even looked at rugs and couches for this room and stuff and just none of it was like anything I was looking for. Um, but I did get a handful of things for this room. So first we have a trash can, <laughs> which is like so um, entertaining. But um, I did need a trash can for this room because in the yarn room at the old house, I just had a small trash can, which was fine. But in this house, this is the third level. So I don't want to take the garbage out like every single day if I have a tiny little trash can. So this is a 13 gallon trash can. And there's nothing fancy with it. It's literally just like a, a swing top. And it's just white so that it matches everything else in here. Um, and I think this was $16 or $17. Yeah, it was $16.98. Um, so that's pretty good because I was looking on Amazon for other types of trash cans. And some of them they wanted up to like $100 for, I mean it was for like recycling and a trash can thing. But still, that was absurd to me. So I got that from Walmart. And then I also got a thing of 80 garbage bags for the garbage can. And these are citrus scented, which I could smell them through the box and they smell really nice. So um, yeah, this is just great value brand because that was the cheapest one, of course. And this was $13.76. So yeah, just trash bags because of course we need them for the trash can. And then I also got two power strips for up here. So I got one that is just a regular eight foot cord with six outlets. And then I got one that is four outlets and two USB ports and it's 10 foot. So um, yeah, I just got these because I mean, I need them to be able to plug more things up in this room because there's actually only two plugs up here. 10 foot one with the USB and the regular was $15.88 and then the one with just six that was eight foot is $12.98. So yeah, that was these two. And then the only other things I got were the pumpkin bread and some sweet tea, which the teas are gonna go in my mini fridge that's up here, as well as I brought some Cokes and some waters from downstairs. So I'm about to put all of that into the fridge and organize the fridge a little bit and then I'm gonna sort out this trash can I think so I can start using the trash can up here and then I'm gonna get back to putting together the shelves that I was making before I left. Okay so I also just went downstairs and grabbed extension cords because like I mentioned there's only two plugs one's back there and one is back there for this room in general there's only two so um I'm gonna put the extension cords in where I want them and have them laying where, how I want them to be um, so I can get a better idea of what covers I need to buy because I'm planning on buying covers for the cords so that it'll cover them on the floor and they won't just move around and get tripped over and everything.
Okay, so I haven't recorded any more of me putting the shelves together because I had to put my camera on charge, but I'm almost done. I did have the top one here built, but I just disassembled it because there's not enough to do three more in this last row. So I'm gonna do a bottom one there. So here's the shelves so that they're up against the wall and I really like how they're looking. So this is where they're gonna be from now on. So it is now 10.30 so I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna be doing in this room just because it is already late but um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so I just said, I don't know how much more I'm gonna do in this room but I'll keep you updated. Yeah. The answer is I'm not doing anything else tonight because I'm just so extremely exhausted. I've been working on this room every single day this week for a long, long time every day. Um, so I'm going to get a shower and go to bed. Um, and I think our plan tomorrow is to do some painting in other spots of the house. So I'm not sure how much I'll actually work on this room or not, but I'll definitely let you guys know what I end up doing. Um, and it just updated for me that Walmart um, is gonna be sending my shelves that go on either side of this on Sunday instead of like Wednesday or something is when it was supposed to come in. So I'm really excited to get those in. Sunday I do have my Fiber Friends group so I won't probably put them together until Monday. But um, yeah, I'm so excited that they're coming sooner than I thought. So I'll at least have those up on Monday and then probably Monday I'm gonna end up doing a lot of the yarn organization after I am done with the um, shelf building because I feel like I could start organizing yarn now into the shelves that I currently have but I would just like to have them all built that way I can get an idea of okay I have this much yarn so it should go in this shelf type thing so um, yeah I think I'm just gonna wait on the yarn organization until then but anyways, I will keep you guys updated, of course, on everything with this room. Okay, guys, so the last time I talked to you was Friday night when I was building those shelves. And it is now Sunday afternoon, specifically 6.20. So um, I'm going to get started on building my Walmart shelves because those came in this morning. And I had the Fiber Friends group to go to, so I didn't... Um, Put them together yet um but we brought them upstairs which was a task because they are quite heavy um so i'm going to try to put them together and hopefully at least get one done if not both done tonight we'll see oh and also my dad helped me mount my tv this morning um so it's all swivel so it can be like this or facing forward from when i'm at the desk we may put it on a different mount this one is like an older style mount because um, this is the same mount that we had it on at the old house and stuff. So it doesn't like lay flat against the wall. If you lay it flat against the wall, it's off center is what I should say. It will lay flat against the wall, but it's off center. Um, and it's kind of angled downward, which I don't mind too much, but um, it is a little bit weird. Um, so oop, and then I'm hitting it on the wall. Let me not mess with it too much. <laughs> But um, for now it's mounted. We may or may not change that. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna just worry about my shelves for now.
still feels really sketchy, so I'm hoping once I put the shelves in the middle, it'll like help stabilize it a little bit. And my dad is going off to the wall tomorrow before I start organizing the yard into it. So I'm not like worried about it, but it's just weird how unsturdy this is when it's advertised as a bookshelf. Like I'm only putting yarn on it, so it'll be fine, but I would not want to put books on it. It is now the next day, which Bruno is barking at my sister's boyfriend, so we're just gonna ignore that. Um, but anyways, I still have the second shelf to put together. I didn't end up doing it last night because I needed to edit and it was already getting super late. So I just edited and then went to bed. Um, and this morning I had a pattern release and everything, so it's been a crazy day already. Um, but anyways, also, my chair that is gonna go in front of this yarn wall came in so we got this up the stairs and oh my goodness that was a task and a half um but that is up here as well as my desk got delivered super exciting this chair wasn't supposed to be here until like the end of next week and somehow it was just here and i was very confused because amazon never updated the shipping or anything very glad it's here but I just was very confused by it getting here so soon. Um, so anyways, I'm going to start putting this stuff together. I think I'm going to start out with this chair because I think it'll be easiest and I also really want to see what it looks like. So I'm going to start out with the chair. because I need to build the little piece that is like the footstool on the bottom and then it can also lay out into a bed. Um, so I'm gonna build that really quick. Well, if I say really quick, it might be like an hour. I don't know how long it's gonna take. <laughs>
so I got the full chair together. And now I'm just gonna cut open these packages that have the little um, lip pillows in them. And then the chair will actually be complete. Okay, amazing. I mean, the paint doesn't match like perfectly, but I feel like it doesn't look that bad in comparison. And I have a gray rug coming, this like grayish white, it's a tie-dye. Well, it's not like crazy tie-dye, but it's tie-dye. Um, that I feel like will work really well with what I have going on. At least I'm hoping. I'm now starting on the final shelf. So it's been a little while, that shelf is now up, and my dad went ahead and mounted it with the brackets, as well as he put two more brackets over here, and then he's gonna stop by Home Depot tomorrow before he gets home and get two more brackets to put like right up there so it'll look the same as that side. laughing so I don't cry oh my god this is the amount of pieces this desk is in <sighs> so this will probably be an into tomorrow morning project because like I was saying earlier it's already kind of late um, but I'm gonna at least get started because I have a feeling this is gonna take a long long time it is numbered all the way up to like 40, I think I was saying, for the pieces.
Okay, so this final piece here that I thought I had to put together for something is actually like a thing on wheels that goes under the desk if you have like a PC or something, which I don't have. Um, so I'm not gonna put this part together. And um, yeah, that means I just need to slide the drawer into its spot. And then I'm gonna put the LED light strip on and then I'm done, which, oh my goodness, it is now 1.45. And I started this at like 5.30 or 6 o'clock or something. So it's been a long process. I haven't really taken much of a break. So yeah. <laughs> While it didn't take forever to put together, I think it was worth it because I love it so, so much. And I have it with the LED lights now and I have it centered where I want it to be up against the wall. Well, it's actually not all the way up against the wall, but I have it centered with the wall and everything. So yeah, I love it. The only thing I might do in the future is get a different desk chair, but that'll be probably a few months down the line if I do end up doing that because I've already spent so much money on this room. But I feel like this was a really good deal for $200 for this whole desk that even came with like the power strip and the LED lights and stuff. And it was actually easy to put together, just time consuming, but the instructions were straightforward and everything. So yeah. I actually recommend this one. But anyways, now that it is 2.10 a.m., I'm gonna put my camera on charge and go to bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for starting yarn organization since I have everything built for this room now. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video and I hope you're excited for part three and part four that are coming up next. If you guys are excited for those videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up. And in general, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you're excited, what you're excited to see, all of that I would love to hear from you guys. Now, if you guys do wanna make sure you don't miss out on part three and part four, as well as all of the other videos that will be filmed in the new yarn room in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that you know every single time I upload a brand new video. Now, if you guys do want to see more from me, of course, you can check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Ribbler shop, all of my social media is my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys here in the next one for part three. Goodbye.